In this video, we are going to look at what happens when we start adding up consecutive odd numbers starting at 1. We will notice that a pattern will emerge, and we will look at a way to prove that this pattern will hold true for summing up any amount of odd numbers starting at 1. To do this, we will have to use proof by induction. Induction is a mathematical proof style that involves the natural numbers. Induction is broken up into two steps. One is showing that our statement or hypothesis is true for a base case, n equaling 1, and then the next is showing that if my hypothesis or statement is true for some value k, if that implies that it is also true for the value k plus 1, then it is true for all natural numbers. We will use induction here to show that our pattern holds true for all natural numbers. Let's look at what we are going to try to prove. So if I take the first odd number, 1, well that's not very interesting. But if I take the first two odd numbers, 1 and 3, and add them together, I get 4. If I take the first three odd numbers, which are 1, 3, and 5, and I add them together, I get 9. If I take the first four odd numbers and I add them together, I get 16. So it seems as though if I add together the first n odd numbers, I happen to be getting n squared. This is the statement that we are going to try to prove, and we will be using induction to show that this is true. To start, let's set up our induction steps. Our first step is showing that our statement is true for the base case n equals 1. We have the sum of just one odd number, 1, and this equals 1, which happens to be 1 squared. Thus, our statement is true for n equals 1, which is our base case. Now, we are going to look at the second step, which is if my statement is true for some value k in the natural numbers, and that implies that it is also true for the next value, k plus 1, then it is true for all k in the naturals. Let's apply the second step in this problem. Suppose that my statement is true for n. That means that the sum of the first n odd numbers is equal to n squared. Now we are going to show that this implies that the sum of the first n plus 1 odd numbers is equal to n plus 1 squared we can write the sum of the first n odd numbers as 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus all the way up to 2n minus 1. Now we can write the sum of the first n plus 1 odd numbers as 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus all the way up to 2n minus 1 plus the next odd number which will be 2n plus 1. By our induction hypothesis, or step 2, we know that the sum of the first n odd numbers is equal to n squared, which means that 1 plus 3 plus 5, all the way up to 2n minus 1, is equal to n squared. This means for the sum of the first n plus 1 odd numbers, we can substitute n squared in for 1 plus 3 plus 5, all the way up to 2n minus 1 and be left with just n squared plus 2n plus 1. We can then factor this to n plus 1 times n plus 1, which simplifies down to n plus 1 squared. Therefore, if our statement is true at n, that implies that our statement is true at n plus 1 as well. Thus, by induction, the statement the sum of the first n odd numbers is equal to n squared is true. Here's a quick blurb as to why induction works. For step 1, we show that our statement is true for n equals 1. Then, statement 2 shows that if you are true at some number k, that implies you're also true for some number k plus 1. Thus, we can just plug 1 into statement 2 to show that my statement is true for the number 2. Then we can plug 2 in to show that the statement is true for number 3, so forth and so on. And we happen to hit every single natural number when we do this. I hope you enjoyed this problem. I think it's a good use of induction. And
that's everything, so thanks for watching.